Mr. A.K. Tiwari is a member at Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board, which is PNGRB. He joins us right now to talk about the reasons for the cut and what are the implications of this, of these assumptions uh, for the future as well. Mr. Tiwari, thanks so much for joining in. Most people are penciling in that the key reasons for a cut are lower capex assumptions and lower opex assumptions by PNGRB versus what the company or the street was factoring in. Could you dwell upon this, sir? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Neera, Samanna, and all the viewers. Thank you. Uh, uh, two things I would like to say that uh, we, we have, as per our regulations, we give the 12% post-tax IRR. So that is always maintained, number one. Number two, we have recently concluded the capacity assessment of not only GSPL, but all other entities, GAIL and others also. So that way the capacity assessment has been done. And the reduction of this tariff are combination of capex which has not been, uh, means, uh, com means, uh, uh, which was earlier in this age has not been done, OPEX also. And some of the capex we have already taken for spur line, for Swan, Swan uh, and Chara terminals and all. So that way we have maintained the uh, post-tax IRR of 12% and since the volume was earlier uh, in this act and in the tariff order was lower and where the volume was uh, is, uh, uh, was more more than uh, 26 mm SMD. so that way all these adjustment has led to uh, a reduction in the tariff but uh, PNGRB has always maintained 12% post-tax IRR so that is there Mr. Tiwari, uh, the, the, the lower OPEX, now, if I'm not wrong, you're saying that because most of the country now comes under the CGD licenses, the OPEX for the future for most companies will likely be low. Is, it, is that a safe assumption, therefore, that anybody trying to bake in a higher tariff because of high OPEX cost over the course of the mm -hmm. next three, five, seven years uh, mm -hmm. is, is not going to be the case? See, even the assumption of the OPEX is there, what is the actual expenditure, what is the actual OPEX which has been done? Ah. If somebody assumes that this is the CAPEX, they can plan, but if the CAPEX is not uh, done, so that way the adjustment will always be there, that group up will always be there. So that way, uh, whatever the actual expenditure has been done, that way we have already uh, adjusted and the reason for these cuts are mainly on account of these. Um, Mr. Tiwari, good morning. Tamanna here. What yeah. is, I think, um, I wouldn't say astonishing, but a little difficult to understand is the gap in the assumption by the company and the assumption by PNGRB. In some cases, it's uh, nearly half whether it's um, you know capex future outgoing capex or operating capex um, even volumes why is there such a discrepancy where is that coming from is there an incorrect assumption on the part of the company are they overestimating or can you help explain that why is there such a big gap on the assumption because that's what's really i think taken everyone who watches this space by surprise yeah yeah see see uh, one is the future capex and future opex so for the future capex for the swan terminal chara terminal as well as the other spur lines we have already taken for opex what was the trend earlier that way we also see whether that is correct opex which is presumed or not that we also calculate and we give the reason for that Similarly, if the OPEX and CAPEX which was taken earlier and if that has not been uh, uh, means achieved, so that way we true up that way. So what uh, I want to say that 12% post-tax error has always, always been maintained and that detailed uh, tariff order which has been uploaded is the total reason for that. No, no, Mr. So Tiwari, Mr. Tiwari, let me reiterate my question. I'm not saying that there's no detailed re reasoning being given. I'm not saying there is no margin of error. I'm not even saying that your reasoning is incorrect. I'm just trying to understand if your reasoning is correct, did the company overestimate in the first place? How can there be such a big gap? Clearly, one side has gotten it wrong. 
Yeah, I think uh, there was some uh, some assumptions which was uh, escalated, so that way it has been done. Sorry, assumptions were escalated. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tiwari, two questions. Uh, I, I still come back. So therefore, because s the country comes under CGD licenses, independent of what CAPEX has been done, would assumptions over future OPEX need to be lower from companies' ends? See, I, uh, OPEX depend upon the uh, various factors which are there. So based on the trend and based on the, there are the 4.5%, we always escalate that way. So that way it is given to all the companies. If there is any OPEX which are uh, to be allowed and has been uh, done more, we allow that way. So that way uh, I think uh, uh, these these assumptions, these data has been taken that way. Okay. Would there yeah. be, based on the based on the assumptions that PNGRB has made, or the calculations rather, that the PNGRB has made for this order of GSPL, uh, are there implications for some other companies as well? Uh, there is noticeably some thought that there could be assumptions that will be uh, were assumed for Gale as well and those could come out at some point of time? No, no. It, uh, there is more uh, connection between the GSPL and Gale and other companies. It depends upon what way the uh, data has been given, what way they have achieved, what way they are able to achieve the capex and copex which have been there. So there is no similarity for that. The GSPL tariff and Gale tariff, the same principle will apply everywhere. That is not a... Um, do you, do you that, typically uh, see... We can't say that way, uh, proportionally that will be there. Do you, do you typically see a big variance or such a large variance, Mr. Tiwari, or is this a one-off? That's, I think, what we're trying to understand. Uh, in case of, in it, case of, when we're talking about a gale, etc., do you typically see such a large discrepancy or such a large difference between what the company is assuming and what you are assuming? At present, I can say that uh, there will not be any much variation. But uh, it depends upon the gale. Uh, we have uh, uh, recently concluded the integrated tariff, <coughs> so that we have already proved up. Based on the EIL capacity which are there and the other things, we will come up with public consultation and then we will do. So I don't think, uh, this means I can't commit that way, yeah. but that will not be a variation. So, so on an that. average or typically or ordinarily, you don't see such a big variation. Would that be safe to say? Yeah. 